We're excited about Tori. Uh, he's he's about to become a huge television star, uh, <laughs> and he's making us a rendition of Sloppy Joes that are not so sloppy. That's yes. right, Tidy Joseph. Shall we go ahead and get the meat started? Sure. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Go ahead and get that let's started sort of while we're waiting. And then as you're, let me help you because this gets a little tricky. Let's see, I think. Let's see you got it. Here we go. This gets a little tricky. And as I'm doing this, Tori, tell me about this show on Netflix, man. So, um, like I said, I can't talk about it too much, uh -huh. but it does involve Easy Bake Ovens. So I will tell you that. Easy Bake, easy bake Ovens. ovens. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that yeah. sounds fun. So it'll air uh, in September. Okay. So September, October, we're hoping okay. for. Okay, September, October. Uh, but it was October. hosted by Anthony from Queer Eye. Okay. So it's going to be a, a fun time. So what did this feel like when you got the call or the message or however they contacted you? I thought it was spam. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> they messaged me on Instagram, and it was a yeah. casting director, and they were like, hey, we see your Instagram, would you be interested in the show? And yeah. they couldn't give any details at the time, and so I kind of ignored it for uh -huh. like two days. Okay. And I reached out again, and I told a friend about it, and she goes, that sounds pretty legit. Yeah. And so it was like the whole process went through, and then... I called my mom and I was like, hey, guess what? Oh, of <laughs> and she's course. like, no way. And I was like, it's happening. We should, and we should probably point out your Instagram account. You're, you, you photograph yeah. food. Photographer. Yes, and that's how it all started. It yeah. was, you know, during the pandemic, um, I had a lot of clients cancel. Weddings weren't happening because uh -huh. of the shutdown. And so I wanted something to take pictures of. And so I decided to take pictures of food. And I love cooking. And so it kind of just took off from there. I had other restaurants and businesses reach out and say, hey, can you do some food photography for me? And here we are today. Man, wow. Look, and look awesome. at these pretty pictures. Is this something you've always been interested in? Like, how long have you done this for? So I've always loved cooking, um, but I didn't realize that I, like, loved cooking and taking pictures of food. Yeah. And so um, it came from almost like trolling people in their food pictures. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it tastes good. It doesn't look good. And so <laughs> I hope to be an well, inspiration we eat for people. with our eye, exactly. right? So, I mean, visual yeah. appeal is everything. Right. So I hope to be an inspiration for people to, hey, if you're going to push your food on Instagram right. or Facebook, like, yeah, it good. that's fantastic. So. Okay, so what kind of hamburger do we have over here? All right, here? so we're actually using ground steak from Joe's. Because oh, like I ground said, these steak. These are tidy Josephs, and I want to make them like fancy. Fancy, tidy so. Josephs. Where did the name come from? Where did the idea come from? So um, I have always loved to eat like burgers and sandwiches, but I hate them being sloppy. Okay. And so what I wanted to do was make something that wasn't so sloppy. And my mom used to make these as a kid, and she would make them from scratch. And that's how I got the idea. And I remember asking, like, hey, can we get Manwich? Because I saw the commercials. Yeah, well, of course. And she's like, uh, no. <laughs> that's a fun stuff, right, George? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, not for nothing, but your hamburger here is just looks really good. Oh, right? and what's this? Yeah. And this is going to be this is hot Italian sausage because I like oh, that. Oh, I it's love just, Italian like, sausage and there. with the spice. Yep, and again, this is off from like Joe's Butcher Shop. It's See, I love the combo. I kind of do yeah. this in lasagna with the yes. Italian sausage and, and absolutely. hamburger. Absolutely, absolutely. I like it. Do you need a... Um, any spatula, utensils? I spatula. do. George, if you would, that uh, drawer oh, right there. Oh, okay. George, George is ready to clean up. Oh, I love it. I love it. George uh, is like, hold on, let me clean up the mess. What, uh, what do we need? Uh, Just a spatula. 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 Just a spatula. Yeah. Okay. What do you think the combo, though, does of, of both meats as opposed to just regular hamburger? So it just gives it that extra flavor. And I actually have some fennel seed mixed in here because I love to use that with, like, pork. Oh. And so it just gives that flavor, just an extra, like, nice little pop to it. Almost like that Italian taste, like you yeah, said you mentioned before. Yeah, you're all trying to stand a little while. I want your hamburger thank to burn. You, thank you, And then once we get some of that fat rendered from there, that'll get hot, and then we can add some of our Absolutely. onions and shallots and spices and things. Okay, and speaking of that, so, okay, spices and what you're putting in this, you've yep. got... I got shallots. Oh, you're doing, oh, you're doing it all right now. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. And He's then we that. have some chopped garlic here. Chopped garlic. Um, can I use canned garlic or is that a no? I mean, <laughs> can. it's not as fresh. It's not the same. It's I not know. the same, but you can do it. Like okay. I said, it doesn't hurt. And like I said, I cook in a different way than other people yeah. cook. Yeah, yeah. So I don't expect, anyway, because I can show you how to yeah. do this in a very more simple way if you want to. Oh, oh no, this is good. Is that is, is this like a secret seasoning over here, secret this spices? Is. It is. A, it does have some different spices and blends. So they're a studio spice company. Um, based out of California, she's oh, a friend of cool. mine. She started her own spice company, and so she sends me spices, and then you can like that's put awesome. more things in there if you want to. And that's what I added the fennel seeds. Okay, to. and then it looks like just a tomato paste. Yep, tomato paste. Yep, and that just holds everything together for you okay. instead of using ketchup. And it's oh. a little more thicker, and so your sloppy yeah. joes won't fall apart, and they'll sit on the buns perfectly. So, in Ooh. terms of time, okay. how much time would I need to invest if I wanted to make tidy Josephs on my own? I would say about thirty minutes. Oh, okay. Minutes. So, so it's that's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Not and too then bad you at have all. these cute little buns too coming up. I do. So we're gonna let you finish cooking, and then coming up in the next segment, George, we're gonna put all these together. Cool. Ooh. And then we'll eat them, right? That sounds good. Then we're gonna eat them. Good. Yeah, that's, you probably. That's why I came.